Hey everyone, Katie from the K-Show blog here and I'm just popping in with another update for the 2019 Plastic Free-ish Challenge. Okay, so if this is the first time you're hearing of the Plastic Free-ish Challenge, I will leave a link below for the first video I made which explained everything. But in a nutshell, I've just set myself a goal of giving up one uh, plastic heavy or wasteful item each month and replacing it with an eco-friendly alternative. I'm not giving up everything plastic, I'm just trying to do as much as I can and I really wanted to see if it was possible on a budget. So I set myself a budget of $50 a month, and that's all I'm using, to try and get rid of as much as possible. So far with three months in, it is going swimmingly, I'm very happy with the changes and uh, I'm just excited to see how it progresses for the rest of the year. So the thing I wanted to ditch in March was plastic bags. So I've used a lot of them unfortunately and I really wanted to get more disciplined and really commit to giving them up. I was kind of making a half, half-hearted half effort before. Are you going to join in? Are you going to join in? Come on. Say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. Right, so before the challenge I had two big reusable bags that were made out of plastic anyway so the seems silly to have them but um, they were reusable. They were so big I couldn't fold them up or anything so I definitely never had them on me and I just would always forget because they're a bit of an eyesore in the house so I had them like away in the laundry and then when I was leaving the house I would always forget them. So I hardly ever use them uh, and I really wanted to change that. So here's what I did to make myself start using reusable bags. I need my hands. I, no, no, I gotta show the people the bags. You can stay up there, I just need my hands, okay? So you might have reusable bags at home and it might be easy to just sort of make that commitment to using them. I knew the ones I had I was never going to use so I had to buy some uh, new ones. So first I bought these. This came in a two pack of exactly the same bags and I got these for my groceries. They're quite large, like I don't know if you can tell on this but they're pretty large, they fit a lot of stuff and they have all these pockets on the inside for like bottles and jars and things so you can organize uh, what goes in there which is pretty cool and every time I've used them so far for the groceries I've gotten compliments on them so that's also cool but they've been much easier because I don't forget them as much I can fold them up really small and so I can have them in my bag if I need them I don't usually have them in my bag though but uh, that is just an option. They're so much easier to remember for some reason than those big bulky ones that I hid in the, the laundry room. So that was the first ones I got. They're also washable so if you do get them dirty or whatever you can wash them. So I use those ones mostly for my groceries when I'm getting like a week's worth of food at once. I'll take those ones out with me. And then I also bought these as well. This came in a three pack and they each had a different pattern on the th three pack. But this is like what I take out when I'm just grabbing a couple of things and what I love mostly is that it folds up so small I put it in my tiny little purse so it can fold up like that and I've also traveled with it I took this to Aruba as well and used instead of using plastic bags there I would just have this um, but super lightweight it actually for as lightweight as it is it holds a decent amount of stuff like it's quite sturdy and it's also washable as well so like I said, they came in a three pack and I've really loved these so far. This is what I've used the most because I'm mostly, you know, just getting like one thing here or there, even like not just groceries, even other things. Uh, if I'm out, like today I had to go to the vet and I had to get heartworm for the dogs and then I had to like pick up just a couple of things from another store. So I had this one with me and what I've done with this three pack, so I have no excuses to forget them. I use them as a boho decor and hung them on the wall in my kitchen so it's as I turn around to shut my front door I see them and then I don't forget them because they're no longer like out of sight out of mind these are in my face and I haven't forgot them once yet so the last bags I got were produce bags for the fruit and vegetables now this one is hard because so much of the fruit and veggies that I see is already wrapped in plastic so um little tomatoes that are already in the plastic tubs, a lot of the greenery, uh, spinach and all that is in plastic bags. 
they even wrap like bananas and avocado and stuff like just so much stuff is already wrapped in plastic so I'm slowly trying to weed that out luckily where I live there's a lot of farmers markets and things like that so it is a little bit easier but it's more just making that habit of going there but for for the produce bags that I was using I bought this this came in a six pack and they had different sizes so I think that one is the smallest and then this one is definitely the biggest so you can see there you have a lot of room to move you could use them as bread bags as well um, but they came in a six pack they're really great so far and what I do is just I'll weigh the item get the sticker and I just put it on my arm or on the back of the grocery list I have and then when it comes time to check out I just either give them all the stickers off my arm or give them my grocery list and then they can scan from there. If you are in Italy, I'll just let you know, I've used these a couple of times and they've had words with me both times about how they don't want me to use these ones when I'm getting my fruit and veggies. A little bit lost in translation, something about the law and sanitation. Um, they just don't, they just don't want me using them. They want me to use the uh, plastic bags that are provided. They're slightly more eco-friendly than regular plastic bags. Um, still not ideal, but just a heads up that something you might encounter if you are in Italy. Otherwise, just go to the farmers markets because they're really cool about you um, bringing your own bags. You want to come down now? You had enough. Okay, okay, you can come down. These have been great. Um, the only other thing I'll mention is if they do get wet, make sure you hang them out to dry straight away. Don't give them a chance to stay wet because I think maybe they're so organic but they get moldy. I'm down a bag because it just got moldy. I didn't know. And um, I left it for like one day and thought oh, I'll hang it out tomorrow in the daytime and it was moldy the next morning. So make sure if, if they do get wet at all um, hang them out and these are washable also so if you need to wash them you can but they have been great as well and I to store them I just fold them all up and keep them in my grocery bag so they're always together and I can't forget them like I said though with this whole plastic free challenge a part of it is eliminating that like excessive consumerism um, that we're so used to so if you already have reusable bags or something you can use just use them I didn't have another alternative to those giant inconvenient ones so like I bought some this time but if you have something else you can use go for it like the best option is upcycling or using something you already have and then the second best if you don't have anything I'm sharing what I got here just so you have that as an option. Um, so far I have no complaints with these. There's really nothing you would need to look out for, I don't think. Um, I got them all off Amazon. They're fairly cheap. They shipped really fast. And yeah, that I don't have anything bad to say about them so far. They're really good. So that's it for the March update. I found these to be really awesome. Uh, the big ones really help me get my groceries done without being like so bulky that they're inconvenient. The little ones, I've been able to always have one with me so that I've been prepared always like if there's an unexpected purchase if I was out and I didn't know I needed to get something then I, I have to get something I've always had one with me they've been working out really well so I hope that's helped you in some way but April I'm giving up plastic water bottles and I haven't bought one yet but it's very easy at home to not buy one so when I travel that's when I use a lot of them so I have one trip starting tomorrow and then one next week and that's going to be the real test of the plastic free challenge. I think that will be the first like hardest test for me is actually using a reusable water bottle. I know it sounds silly, but that's a big weakness. So I already have my water bottle ready for the trips and I'm excited <laughs> and nervous, but excited to give it a go and just ditch that habit because that's a bad one. So that will be my next update and I will see you then.